You're trying to photograph a bird sitting on a distant tree, but the autofocus system keeps grabbing the branches right in front of you. Or you're trying to focus on something close, like your crazy dog or your out of control child, but the autofocus system constantly locks on to the background. Wouldn't it be cool if you could just push a button and automatically limit your camera to focusing at the distances you want to focus at? You can with Fujifilm's AF range limiter. This feature is available in cameras starting around the X-T3 generation and newer. How do you know if you have it? Go into your AF MF setting menu and see if AF range limiter is towards the end. That's where it'll be if you have it. Fujifilm's AF range limiter helps with two things. First, it can make your autofocus system faster. By eliminating the distances where your subject is not, the autofocus system doesn't waste any time there. It only needs to work at the distances where your subject is rather than is not. Second, it can make your autofocus system more accurate. And this is more of the macro level accuracy and less of the micro level, meaning that when set up and used correctly, it won't erroneously focus on a nearby object when you're trying to focus on something in the distance and vice versa. There are some disadvantages to using the AF range limiter, and those are mostly centered on the user. These are things that you need to be aware of. First, it has to be set up correctly. If you set the range to 30 feet to infinity, but you're trying to focus on something at 10 feet, it's not gonna work how you want. You're never going to be able to focus on that thing at 10 feet. It's also up to you to know when the AF range limiter is enabled. You have to go into the screen setup menu and then display custom setting, enabling both the MF and AF distance indicator to give you a yellow bar on your focus scale to let you know that the limiter is enabled and what the range is. That's the only indication that it's enabled and it's one more thing that you're going to need to check. It also won't work if face and eye detection is enabled and vice versa. The AF range limiter can be set up and used in all focus modes, manual focus, single autofocus and continuous autofocus. If you're in single or continuous autofocus, First, go into your AF MF setting menu and turn face and eye detection off. Remember, this feature won't work in conjunction with face and eye detection. The AF range limiter option is gonna be grayed out if face and eye detection is enabled. For this example, we've had 50, five zero feet of snow this winter so far. That's 15 meters for my metric friends. So I'm unable to get far from the house right now. So we're just gonna go and photograph the shed in the backyard beyond this string of lights that the autofocus system keeps grabbing onto while in the wide autofocus mode. Go into that AF range limiter menu and you'll see four options, off, two presets, and a custom setting. If the preset ranges work in your situation, use them. You'll likely want to set a custom range though so select custom and then set. Look at the directions at the top. It'll say set point A, that is your close range limit. Just rotate the focus ring to either a known distance using the scale or so that your near subject just comes into focus. You can use the focus check feature, pushing in on the joystick or the rear command dial, depending on how your camera is set up to zoom in and check this focus even better. I bias a little closer than the close subject, so there's a margin if I or the subject move. You don't really want that close limit exactly at your subject. So here we'll focus just in front of that shed. Press OK when that's set, and then the instructions at the top are going to change to set point B. That is your far range limit. Rotate your focus ring just beyond your far subject. For the same reasons I just stated, you want at least a little bit of a margin there. Now I'm just going to set this to infinity. After rotating the focus ring for your far range, press display back to accept that range. If you instead press okay again, it'll take you back to set point A. Only do that if you want to reset your close range. 
your custom range limiter is now set and enabled when you go back out to the shooting display. And as mentioned previously, go into your screen setup menu, display custom setting, and make sure there's a check mark next to AF distance indicator and MF distance indicator. This is the only way of looking at the screen and knowing that you're using the AF range limiter. You can again use any focus mode, autofocus or manual focus, and any autofocus mode like single point, zone, or wide tracking with the AF range limiter. In wide, where the system was previously grabbing onto the string of lights at every attempt, now it's ignoring those because it's out of the preset range. Even if I go to spot and I put that spot over the string of lights, it won't get a lock because that light is inside of the set range. And you heard me right before, it also works in manual focus mode. If your back AF button is configured for AF on or AF lock only, you can press that back AF button in manual focus mode and get autofocus using that range limiter. Just use the focus mode and autofocus area that is appropriate for your situation and ensure that your range limit covers the range that your subject is in. Check the yellow bar on the focus scale as a reminder of what your current range limit is set to and go back into the AF range limiter menu if you need to change it. Going into that AF MF setting menu to set up and change your range limit doesn't take a lot of time, but you can shave off a few seconds by taking advantage of some custom programming. And those few seconds might mean the difference between getting the photo and not getting the photo. That AF range limiter submenu can be assigned to a custom function control, like a button or touchscreen gesture. Press and hold the display back button to get into the custom function programming screen and assign your desired control to AF range limit. Now, when you use that control while shooting, you'll go directly into the AF range limiter submenu, and now we'll reset it to only focus on the string of lights and ignore everything in the background setting point A just in front of the lights and point B just behind the lights. You can also put the AF range limiter submenu into your custom my menu, and I'll link how to set that up in the description here. Unfortunately, you cannot put the AF range limiter into the Q menu. So that's the AF range limiter, one more tool that you can use to get sharper photos. If you have any questions or comments about this, please let me know and I'll see you on the next video.